Okay, Dennis the Apprentice, I think about you all the time. I awesome. see all of your posts on Instagram. You have great stories every day. You're constantly sharing inspirational things for people who are coming up in the trades and learning. Yes. What do you do to encourage an apprentice who becomes uh, to a point or a roadblock where they think that they don't want to keep pushing on in their trade because they're not making enough money, they're not getting enough respect? What's your what? What do you recommend for them at that time? Um, I try to open up, one of my, my recent subjects was talking about there's more to the trade than just the hands-on part. The trades are so huge. You can get into sales, you can get into podcasting, yes. you can get into management, you can get into uh, parts distribution. In every trade, whether it's electrical, plumbing, HVAC, whatever. So it doesn't have to be the technical side. Exactly. If yes. a guy's sitting on a roadblock on this sucks being in the trenches every day, that's not where you have to end up. Um, That's a great answer. Yes. I really like that. And one thing I say is if you don't like to dig, get really good at it. Because <laughs> if you'll get really good at digging, people will notice. You'll stick out like a sore thumb in a good way. And you'll be pulled up out of the trenches and into other things. And if you become good as a tech or sales tech or whatever, you'll be pulled up. Yes. into other things and this industry is huge it is huge well i yeah. really appreciate that perspective dennis thank you, you for coming by we'll see you guys soon awesome